there. My name is Dawn Baker and I am a children's author and illustrator and I live here in Gander, Newfoundland. And you're in my house right now. Uh, this is my living room and I'm going to take a little bit of time today to read to you one of my books. This is called Around Newfoundland and I wrote it but also in addition to that I did all of the paintings for the illustrations and you can see some of them uh, behind me right here. If you have my book, uh, you can read along with it at home. If not, don't worry, because a nice gentleman named Peter, who works with Flanker Press, my publisher, uh, he will put the illustrations on this video for you. And interestingly enough, one of the characters in this book is also called Peter. So that's a little bit of a coincidence. But if you'd like, you just sit back now and I will read the book for you. Around Newfoundland. Gary scanned the ocean looking for the coast. It wasn't long before he grinned and shouted, Land Ho! He was looking forward to traveling across the beautiful island of Newfoundland. Gary was on a large ferry boat with his mom and his sister Kim. While on board, he met Peter and Peter's parents. The families decided to travel together. Peter and his family were on their way home to St. John's and were in no hurry. After docking, they all headed north. Their first stop was the city of Cornerbrook, where they ate lunch while watching a huge cruise ship that was approaching. Peter's dad joked, that ship is a bit grander than the one we came on. Later, they continued on to Grossmore National Park. Let's hike to the top of the mountain, suggested Gary and Peter. However, they were outvoted and everyone hiked the lookout trail instead. As it turned out, the route that they chose was full of wonder and quite challenging. That night was an early one and morning came much too fast. Ken was the first up and she encouraged the rest to hit the road toward Lansome Meadows. She couldn't wait to see the Viking village of Norstead. After a long but scenic drive, the visitors felt as though they had traveled back in time over 1,000 years. Gary and Peter could picture themselves as fierce and fearless Vikings. Two days later, it was raining, but that did not dampen Peter's spirits. He could hardly wait to share one of his favorite places with his new friends. The Newfoundland Insectarium did not disappoint. Peter and Gary both tried to creep out Kim with the tarantulas and scorpions. Kim ignored them and spent her time in the butterfly pavilion where there were hundreds of different species. One of the beautiful butterflies landed on her hand. Their next stop was the Salmonid Interpretation Center in Grand Falls, Windsor. Through the underwater windows, they were able to see the amazing fish that returned to the Exploits River every year. They also saw brook trout, sticklebacks, and eels. Sticklebacks are tiny little fish that swim around the shore. You may have some like that close to where you live. After a little rest and some shopping, the group headed south toward Beta Spear so they could attend the Mwapuk Powwow in Khan River. The three-day event provided lessons in Aboriginal culture and nature. The area was alive with color, movement, and sound, thanks to the drummers and dancers. The friends spent the next afternoon at Cobbs Pond Park which is right here in Gander, where everyone enjoyed a stroll on the boardwalk and a lively game of beach volleyball. A picnic supper of cold plates certainly hit the spot. Since the powwow, the two families had an even deeper respect for their environment, so they made sure to clean up carefully. Even the grown-ups were eager to get started the next morning they had booked an outing with Iceberg Man Tours in Twillingate, and what an outing it was. The group saw icebergs, two types of whales, and breathtaking scenery. Gary and Peter, Peter were thrilled when a whale surfaced and blew spray in the air. 
After the tour, they stopped at Prime Birth to see the awesome whale display. As they drove along from place to place, the view from the car windows kept everyone entertained. Kim's favorite scene was one of a Newfoundland pony. His mane and tail were really long and silky, but he looked sturdy and strong. He reminded her of a toy she once had. Peter's mom admired some quilts drying on a clothesline. The patterns were unique and quite beautiful. They are just like the ones my grandmother used to make, she said. And you can see the illustration, the painting that I did. It's right there on the piano behind me. After spending a lot of time sitting inside their cars, everyone was more than happy to spend a day at the beach. They found a perfect stretch of sand on one of the famous beaches in Eastport, and the two boys had a friendly race, which ended in a tie. There was only time to visit one more place before Peter's parents had to get back to work in St. John's. They chose Bonavista. Even though the lighthouse was really nice and the weather was warm, Gary was still a little sad. He and Peter had become great buddies and he didn't want to say goodbye. He wasn't at all eager to leave. And you can also see the painting of the lighthouse in Bonavista. It's right behind my shoulder. Fortunately, Gary's mom had planned for them to spend several days in the historic Newfoundland capital of St. John's. On their first day there, it was a little cool and showery. So the family trio drove around the city and took in all the sights. Kim thought the colorful houses of Jelly Bean Row were quite enchanting. On their drive, Gary noticed a large and very unusual building. It turned out to be the Rems, which is the provincial archive, gallery, and museum all in one. They decided to go in. It was super. There were exhibits on everything from a giant squid to World War I and the Royal Newfoundland Regiment. Even the view from the huge windows was a work of art. Gary loved the bird's eye view of the snug harbor and watched as a Coast Guard ship came in through the Narrows. The Narrows are the small, uh, the small little area of water in the ocean between the two pieces of land that come into St. John's. They made plans to get a closer look at the entrance to St. John's from Cabot Tower. That evening, Peter and his parents met with them once again and they drove up to Cabot Tower on Signal Hill. On the way, Gary spotted another unusual building. What's that place, he asked. That's the Johnson Geo Center, Peter's dad replied. Gary and Kim were happy to hear their mom say that they could go there the next day. By the way, she said, I think I will have some exciting news to share with you soon. I'll tell you all about it when I know for sure. Gary wondered what the news might be. The Geo Center turned out to be much bigger than it looked from the outside as it was mostly underground. While there, they learned a lot about rocks and fossils and planets. They even watched a movie in 3D. Gary liked the 550 million year old rock wall while Kim and their mom enjoyed the Titanic display. On the last day of the visit, the two families met to spend the afternoon in Bowering Park. Gary was nervous when his mom gathered everyone around a picnic table for her big announcement. She began by asking, how would you like it if we were to stay here? Gary couldn't believe what he was hearing. That would be awesome, he declared. Kim was happy also. She felt quite at home in St. John's. Well, I found a great job here, Gary's mom explained. And if you guys agree, we can be all settled before school starts. Gary couldn't stop grinning. He wouldn't have to say goodbye to his new friend after all. And that is the end of the story. And in the end of my book right here, I have a map of Newfoundland that shows the path that they took all the way across from when they got off the ferry 
all the way across Newfoundland till they stopped and ended in St. John's, Newfoundland at the end of their trip. And in fact, behind me, right in the center there, you can see the map of Newfoundland that I painted to use in this book. So thank you for listening and being with me here today in my living room. And why don't you check out some of my other uh, videos, other books that I've read here on YouTube. Thanks to my publisher, Flanker Press. Have a great day.